It's so controversial, you know? <laughs> We go all over the world to incredible cities. The competition is some of the best riders in the world. We have a team aspect of it. Um, and then at the end of the week, we have a Grand Prix, which is very big, very important, a lot of money. I think the thing about show jumping that keeps me motivated is the actual, just the com competition. You know, I'm a competitive person. And though I've been at this for many, many, many years, uh, I still find, you know, just that thrill of, of getting in the ring and trying to be the best on that day. Um, the added bonus is that for many years, I've gotten to be a part of this Global Champions League. And so I get to do this in a lot of great cities. I'm really excited to be a part of Madrid in Motion this year. This is my first year. This is my first show being on the team. Um, what's really special about it is I feel like I've grown up with uh, Michael van der Vluten. He's like a child. He was like a child when I first met him. Uh, Eric, his father, has been a great friend of mine for many, many years. Jack Whitaker also followed his career since he was on Ponies. Um, the rest of them are just fantastic and just a great group of guys. And I'm the only girl, so that's cool. I've been really fortunate to have a lot of really great horses. I think many people who've been in the sport for a while will probably remember Cedric, who I would still say is probably my favorite horse of all time. I think that the thing about developing the relationship with a horse such as Cedric, or even the horse I have here, Balatinu, is just, you know, the trust. And, and I get to know them, they get to know me. I really value spending a lot of time with them, not just in the saddle, but on the ground relationships with horses at this level of jumping have to be very special. My choice would be Nick Skelton, mainly because his survival skills are amazing. He's excellent. I call him MacGyver, so I think he can build a fire out of like a stone or whatever, so it'd be him.